Hey everyone, it's kind of bright out here, but I'm uh, up this canyon right here, almost into Beaverhead Deer Lodge National Forest. Decided to go for a ride on my ice cream truck with 29 plus with the, put the suspension fork back on. We've had a few really warm days, so I wanted to come see if we've had any snow melt up high, because this is really where I'd, I love to come ride, but you know, it's not looking great so far. I had a little bit of a muddier ride the other day. I was gonna wash it off before I did this ride, but I'm kinda glad I didn't because as you can see, it's gonna be muddy. Looks like this has had some snowmobile traffic. Occasionally you'll be able to see their, where their tracks have gone. There has also been some vehicle traffic. It's warm today, it's around 50, but this is so well packed. Oh, that uh, maybe I spoke too soon. So well packed that I'm riding on it with very little impressions for the most part. I'm not digging into the snow hardly at all. That big peak right there is called Tabletop. There's not really any trails, like designated trails on this side, especially not single track. Lots of four-wheeler trails that are probably, you know, just unsanctioned, just older ones. But on the other side, there's quite a bit. That's part of the Butte 50 when you get to the other side. Um, all the trails back there, you get a, a little bit of the Continental Divide Trail and a uh, pretty good system on that side. Nothing really on this side, but I'm kind of trying to explore it and document trails that I find, put those up on trail forks. I might have been better off leaving the fat tires on, but I haven't had them on for about a week. It's been so nice. And there's no snow once you get about 500 feet in elevation lower than here. This is what it looks like when someone gets stuck. That looks like they had trouble getting out. A lot of wood. Looks like they grabbed some firewood. These tubes of sand. You can see how much it chewed up that piece of wood. Broken, broken shovel handle right there. I've been there, not that bad though. And it wasn't snow, it was mud. Here's one of those spots where the road goes this way. Here's a little four-wheeler trail. I've gone up at one time, it kind of goes over to that valley right there, goes around, there's a way to connect around that hill, but I think that's the way I might go. Might not work to go this way. It's not as packed, so you dig in real good. Even on a fat bike, it'd be a little bit tough just because it's so soft right now and so warm. This is what happens when you ride at high elevations too early with the wrong bike. Okay, here we go. Let's try this. Nope. <laughs> it's just not going to work. Going to have to head back over to the road and take that till... I find where people stopped going. Oh gosh. Ugh. <laughs> nope. <laughs> ah. To be honest, it might work to come up here with these tires in the morning before it gets real soft. Fat bike would struggle right now, actually. It's just, it's just so wet. This is fine though. It's pretty amazing the difference between packed snow and fresh snow, what you can ride. Let's head down here into the trees. There's this little patch part way up the road right here. This will give a good idea of what it's like in the trees as you go higher. Ooh, that's icy. Aren't you? Even though there's a lot more snow in these trees, it's nice that it keeps it shaded 
so it doesn't get so soft. I mean, could I just go off to the left right now? No, but probably better than the other stuff I rode through. That was just in direct sunlight. A little bit of a climb. Earlier this winter, I did a ride in this setup. I wanted to test how well plus tires do in the snow. I was a little disappointed with the amount of snow there was. It wasn't the best test. Riding in this right now, which is, I would argue is plenty of snow to test if they work. It's kind of the same conclusion I had then. It does pretty well on packed snow. A more aggressive tire than these Chronicles would do even better. Something that's actually knobby. It's not going to do great in deep stuff. Anything that's get relatively soft isn't the best. Even if you aired down quite a bit. But if you've got packed snow around you all the time, you could probably get away with it. This looks like another spot some people had fun trying to get through. Probably just got pulled off to the side right here over and over. Beautiful up here though. All right, I'm actually gonna head back down now. The whole point of this ride was to come see how much snow there was and obviously there's a lot, but I knew that was gonna happen. The whole point is it's fun to come up here and to ride and just to see how much there is. And uh, I'm obviously not the only one that's come up this way in the snow, but probably the only one on a bike. I've had enough traction to go up, but down might be a different story. Yeah, you're great. Just gotta watch out for those soft patches. Lost that front tire for a second. Let's make it up the hill. Go for it. Where's that icy spot? Here it is. Okay. Oh. Oh. Made it through. I know there's like a game trail or cow trail cut through here somewhere. I might take that if I can find it. Maybe I'll look on the map. It's like right here, like probably 10 yards that way, but it is just packed with snow. Not actually packed snow, just lots of snow. And it goes along right there. It's just snow the whole way. So not even gonna attempt that. We'll just keep going up the road. One nice thing about riding in the snow is you just come out with these super clean tires. The snow like scrubs all the dirt off, makes them look brand new. I might not get that in the end because there are these patches of dirt, but right now I could probably eat off my tires. This has been way better than I thought on this packed snow. It's actually been enjoyable. Sometimes it's not. Whoa, that was a soft, deep pull. Ah, there's a bunch of them. <laughs> you know, my wife always makes fun of my little screams in these videos. Before I go, ah! Good thing I just had a manly real one. Well, that was a fun ride. Hopefully you enjoyed watching that. It was fun to get up here, see how much snow there is. I was surprised how much of it was packed on the road. I didn't realize that many people came up here in the winter, but um, made it nice. Actually, these tires worked great on all that packed stuff. When I got into that soft stuff, it was not so fun. Would have rather had fat tires at that point. Overall, fun ride. Hope you enjoyed watching it. Be sure to subscribe if you did. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think. 
and uh, I'll see you next time.